Oh, this magnet is so strong. Hopefully it doesn't damage my camera. Hey guys, I'm really excited. Today we will put this strong magnet into floating island to make it actually fly. Well, let's see if it works. This is Floating Island, it's so beautiful as we know it. The location where I want to spend my vacations on. Some of you came up with the same idea like I did a few months ago when we saw the very first version of the Floating Island. I always wanted to do this, using a very strong magnet on this presentation table thing, which is used and seen in some stores. Well. Let's see what's inside. Let's see if we can use this strong magnet for our creation. Uh, maybe we can make it even a little bit smaller. Let's remove all these pieces, these rings. Ah, it's quite difficult to work with. It already looks like the shape of the island from Floating Island, the, the rocks. So all we have to do is cut out this blueprint from Floating Island and start creating. This is our very first step. We will focus on all the beautiful, beautiful details on this vacation island. Well, now we have a swimming pool on it as well. We have a motel, so I guess it won't be boring right there. <laughs> and we have a very thin layer of gray clay and we have some ochre and this will be the swimming pool. In order to get all the proportions right, I just cut out the paper from the blueprint and we should get it right then. Okay, so this will be the inner part of the swimming pool and it's almost finished because, well, we are just adding some textures to it and now there is this tiny hut on it as well. It is um, a little bit red, red-ish from the front. So this is why I use this clay color. And we have a wall as well. Well, when working on these tiny details, it's always great to have any kind of reference like this blueprint, but I also use my laptop as well. So I um, <laughs> had this location on replay mode so I could always check and compare. This was really helpful. This is the main part, the middle piece on um, the island which used to be in Loot Lake. Ah, good old times. <laughs> and now we have some very thin layers of green clay for the grass. So we start putting on the vegetation or the plants. Well, later, but the grass will be added right now and then we will focus on the buildings and we have uh, many vehicles as well we have some cars and the truck the truck on the roof I have no idea how to create it with clay because it should be really really small but well one step at a time let's see how it will turn out Okay, now let's start with the very first building. It's in the front and it has also a gray roof. After oven hardening, we will start painting many, many details into the creation. But for now, let's focus on all the different layers. To be honest, I had just no idea how to start this confusing project. When you look at the building, you are not really sure where all the walls are and what's underneath and why it all works like this building. Well, I thought it would be a good idea to start from the bottom and working up to the top. And this is what I did with the building. Now we will add some um, of the windows and details 
everything which needs to be created with clay, this roof for example, and we have these wooden parts as well. And then we have the tiny building in the back side, also with the huge balcony. I created this one with a very thin layer of clay. Hopefully it doesn't break in the oven. Well, we will find out in a minute. Let's put this spice to the side, put everything onto the plate, and we start working on the island itself. I place it onto the plate, and let's try to get a thin layer of brown clay. Well, not too thin, maybe the thickness of, of a finger, for example, because we have some different levels. I'm cutting away these stair things. Um, this is what I mean by levels. It looks like that. And we have some fascinating details on the lower level. We have um, a bathtub, for example. We have a toilet. We have uh, many, many cars. Okay, I already put these into the oven, so they are quite hard right now, just for like 10 minutes, that they don't break when I would push them into the clay. This is a really good uh, way to create in, in different steps. And now we mix some gray and brown to get all these rocks. You s just saw that in the background in the replay. And now we have some gray on the floor and stones. Let's add some stones to it. So what's next? Yeah, you see these green spots as well, which somehow makes the island a little bit more alive. Um, yeah, we have some planks as well as some pipes. And as I told you, we have some vehicles. So I wanted to mix all of these um, vehicles that they really look old. And this is what I did with this color. I think we have like three of these old cars. <laughs> Probably these are cars which sank into um, Loot Lake. So this is the bathtub. I thought this would be important. And we also have a toilet. Yeah, that's true. But it's open. Okay, let's see what's next. Well, we have these pipes. We created these, a boat and some wheels, I think. Now there is another huge pipe. We have some stones lying around, some more pipes, some broken cars and this yellow truck. Some of these vehicles are quite characteristic. This blue van, for example. Is it really a, a van? I'm not sure. We have a gray car and we have the truck on the roof. And this is a must have for our creation. This is the back side of the truck. We will also create the wheels underneath. And now we can focus on the vegetation, which makes this place look even more like you want to spend your vacation on this island. <laughs> Just imagine you, well, an island like this would really exist and you would just go there via a helicopter and you just have to stay on this island. Somehow like spending your holidays on a boat because you just can't leave it. <laughs> I really like how these trees turned out with the mixture of yellow and orange for the leaves. And now we make the filling of the empty. Yeah, unfortunately, it's empty, the swimming pool and some details as well. And now the ice cream truck, which goes right over there. So we use different layers. We have green, white and green again. Well, it's not really green. It's more like turquoise. And then we have this broken ice cream thing on the roof. A matchstick, which I'm coloring brown, will bring us really good um, yeah, what's it called? Well, it's just the wooden structure underneath the house that it doesn't break or fall down. We have all these signs. We have the one with the motel and the one underneath, which says vacay. Well, I'm not really sure and I can't read it because it's too tiny. And the burger, the door burger on the top. Can't remember. Uh, this is probably the sixth time I'm creating the Dörr Burger on such a small scale, but it's always a pleasure. This is Kevin, the cube! Yeah! I have heard that it has changed over time. Personally, I haven't really seen it in the game, 
But if it's true, if it really has changed, this means that there will be probably another live event, maybe, and Kevin will open, crack open, something like that. We're ready to go into the oven! <laughs> Freshly baked island, floating island, on all the trees! Look at that beautiful tree! And we can start painting the house, for example. We start with the motel, with the roof, two different layers. We have the huge pens and then I have this tiny, tiny black acrylic pen to get in all the details for the roof, for example. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Well, the lines aren't that beautiful, but um, in, in, in total, when you see the artwork in total, it just looks nice. At least I think so. <coughs> yeah. So there is another piece of the roof and we start assembling all the trees. Yeah, that's right. The very first time I'm actually drawing some more details onto the trees itself for this pine tree, for example. And I used the blueprint a lot to get all the exact positions where to get the trees in because it's still many, many trees on such small space. And we also have these very tiny pine trees. Well, I skipped on the bushes because they would have been too tiny. This is the sign, the motel sign. And for the structure underneath, well, maybe we can also use the matchstick. Yeah, the fire stick. Let's try with that. Probably we should paint it. It's half yellow and half silver. And let's see if it works, if we just glue it onto it. We have the ice cream truck, the wheels as well. And now we can glue it. We can glue all these cars and vehicles onto the creation. This is the part I was most looking forward to. Because, well, I, I'm not really sure what fascinates me. <laughs> but it really brings the creation to, to life. The doors are open of the truck. This is the camping van, the blue car, the silver car, which is lying somewhere on the side, the ice cream truck, and of course, the huge truck on the roof. We will put it where it belongs. Hopefully there is no one inside. <laughs> Have you been inside the truck in the game? I'm curious if it's possible to enter, to enter it. Now there's another sign as well and we will glue it onto the roof as well here we go yeah okay it looks great now we have numbs and i'm not really sure but i think that's it for the island now that we finished the island we can work on the magnet on the very strong magnet <sighs> i can tell you what what was my idea well i thought i would just coat the magnet and include it into the creation but still i'm not really sure if it works if it changes somehow the balance the balance of the magnet um nevertheless let's just find out let's just pretend that it will work and that all these details i'm currently working are not wasted <laughs> And then we can oven harden this thing with a magnet, which should just be done in like 10 minutes. Maybe we add some more details. That looks nice. Put this in the oven, finished. <laughs> Got a bit darker. And then, well, the big moment has arrived. Well, maybe we should add some more acrylic paint to get this glowing, this glowing effect onto Kevin. <clears throat> and now, I'm, I'm really excited if it works Let's plug it in Well, it's fl currently floating over greasy grove, so I thought it would be nice to put it underneath and now That's quite hard. Why, why doesn't it work? It's so difficult ah, ah. What what about now? Nah. Okay, I think we got it Now let's place the the island on top Look at that. It, it's, it's, well, it's, it's so beautiful. Look at the floating island. Look at that. Ah, that's it. Floating island. It looks so fascinating. 
What an exciting experiment. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, please let me know what I should create next. Well, for this island, I know for sure that there will be some changes in the game. So let's see what happens next so we can make another video which is quite similar. I guess that's it for today. Have a great weekend and take care, guys. Bye. Oh, the magnet is so strong. Ah! <laughs> Maybe we can just talk about spending some vacation time together on this island. Who's with me? Well, we should find out how to get to this floating island. I will book a helicopter.